Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the Infected 9.2. Uh, today, if we get to it, we're going to add more power um, so that I can run a few more things. Right now, I have the water on. I have the oil extractor on. It is on. I had to watch for a minute. I processed some little bit of clay. We're going to go uh, across the cobalt fields to town and see if I can grab some um, electrical parts. Uh, that's empty. That's almost full. That's empty finally. I've got a little bit of cement back here. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> but I have a box now. Uh, let's see here. Iron ore. I have a little bit of iron left. I have a ton of coal. Two pieces of glass. Yeah. Uh, oh, only five pieces of aluminum left. That's good. I've got some stuff right here. Is that empty? It is. Good grief. Where's the door? <laughs> what time is it? It's getting late. Got to get a move on. Let's take a ration in case of an emergency. Turn off the, all the fires. Completely forgot that I was out of water. There we go. Alrighty. And I've got uh, cobalt's full. I did build up some uh, lead so that I could make some more windmills or wind, wind turbines. I have quite a bit of aluminum, uh, one case of copper, two cases of iron, and uh, I've had to put on a cooling shirt. So let go with me. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to take a cart or anything like that. Um, we're just going to run to town and uh, grab a few things and some corn. Because you never know when you might want to munch on some raw corn. <laughs> I think I'm already going astray here. I am. <laughs> of course, I'm going astray. Uh, there's some more corn. I'm starting to get used to this crazy mouse. There's the uh, cobalt fields right there. Hopefully I won't slip down the mountain there. Uh, let's see. I know it's right next door. Right over that ridge. There we go. I uh, put away a ton of fish. Uh, meaning that I put it on the drying racks. And a little bit into the fridge. Just a little bit. Oh, good grief. My stamina is up to 139. Health is up to 141. We've got a long way to go. We're almost halfway there with health. It'll go all the way up to 300. Oh, is that a cucumber? Awesome. All right. Uh, down there is town. I passed it again. <laughs> I get to running. <laughs> so uh, if I'm going to use these electric lamps, uh, I'm going to need um, electric parts. And while I can easily make them, um, they might be free. So let's see if we can find some for free. As you can see, the doors are closed. Uh, as soon as you log out of your game, they close. So it has nothing to do with the respawn. Um, of course, I'm going to take that. I don't need any more Kevlar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what's that? There's an electrical part. Awesome. There's one. 
One down, um, nine to go. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to have to come back in 10 days or just make some, maybe. <laughs> I don't mind making it. God knows I've got plenty of plastic. Uh, there's another piece of plastic. May as well. All right, is that the bathroom? Yeah, there's the back door. I'm not worried about hitting every building. Uh, there shouldn't be any blueprints. If there is, it's something that I already have. Oh, med kits. That rope. I'm going to be picking up too many ores. That's what's going to happen. I will take this can of oil. Haven't gotten ahead on the oil yet. Uh, that usually takes about a season or a full year. There's another one. Two down, eight to go. I did want to go south um, to that southern town. Um, this one down here. It's a bit of a track, though. Um, let's turn down the thunderstorm while it's going on. And I will try to remember to turn the sound back up. We still have the ambient sounds. Is that all we're going to get is one, one strike of lightning, one little bit of thunder? <laughs> There's three. Boy, I guess I picked the right town to come to, though. Alrighty. I definitely do not need all of this other stuff. It's an illness. Picking up. <laughs> Picking up everything. That's an illness. How much the cucumbers weigh? Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to start eating some of this stuff soon. <laughs> Uh, now, the only reason I made the cooling shirt is because I want to keep um, using my headlamp through July, August, and September. And, uh, yeah, it was getting warm. I was overheating in there, in the forge area. Yeah, I don't eat those things. But there was a lot of back and forth about uh, spawning and respawning. Uh, was there despawn uh, in the game? And I think that we've come to the conclusion that yes, uh, everything despawns and then respawns. And it doesn't all happen on the same day for everyone. It happens on your 10th day. Or perhaps after your 10th day, like in the middle of the night after you shut your game down. When you reload, it all despawns and respawns on that day. I think. I think that we've come to that conclusion. There's been some testing done. Most of us are just enjoying the game, but there has been some testing done uh, by players. Yeah, I definitely do not want fish oil. Don't ever want to break a jar of fish ale in your uh, fish oil in your pack. <laughs> It would be very stinky. All right. I'm pretty sure there isn't anything in the bathroom. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. Something I can't pick up. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> That's all right. I'm probably thirsty. Oh, gosh. This is all messed up. All right. Uh, I am thirsty. All right. Let's see where we're at. Oops. Pick that up. 
All right. I think I mentioned before that we'll occasionally go to town. Uh, I'll occasionally go to town without you because sometimes you just need to run to town, you know, pack of smokes, soda, some candy. <laughs> and I don't need glass or plastic. Uh, yep. Oops. That's the bathroom. I missed the door by that much. All right, let's see. I haven't been in the little house. I had a, what's going on? Something's dragging me down. <laughs> there is another one. How, what are we up to now? We're up to four. That's four that I don't have to make. Oh boy, good grief. I'm leaving a pile of stuff in the floor here. I could put it in a garbage can in one of the warehouses. <laughs> There's some of that. There's some nails. There's a little bit of fuel. All right, mechanical parts. Pizza. Glass. Oh, I shut the door. That's just going to confuse me. Patatas. I know I missed a ton of houses. Let's just go through this one. Uh, that's coal. Oops. I skim over surfaces. And then I watch the video, well, some of the video, while I'm processing it. At least I watch enough of it to do a thumbnail. <laughs> At any rate, I often see um, me pass by cool stuff. And it's like, darn it, that won't be there when I get back. <laughs> Where's it? There it is. <laughs> Let me out of this crazy house. All right, pretty sure we came in that way. Uh, yeah, going towards the warehouses. That's the little house. Little house in the village. This is so much easier when you're not looking desperately for blueprints. You're just grabbing specific kind of loot, you know. Oh, there's an ore over there. I'll take that. <laughs> I guess I'll take the Kevlar. I don't know what for, but I just know that what's gonna happen is there's going to be a point and there won't be there'll be a great need for kevlar all of a sudden <laughs> and i won't have any all right eventually i'll make it to the warehouses It is possible to find a house with absolutely nothing of value in it. There we go. That was number six. Okay. I wonder if there just happens to be one electrical part in every house. Although, um, I think I found a couple with two. Another medical kit. Alright. Too 
medical kits. Definitely no electrical part in this house unless there's one on this table. No, it's coal. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see here. Warehouses. Uh, that way. There's... Ah, it's rope. Darn it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get some oil and Kevlar. Very cool. Am I going the opposite direction again? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll check out the warehouses and then we'll go on home. And, uh, good grief, raccoon. I might, uh, sojourn down to the southern town. Uh, plastic. Oh, cans. Cans are worth their weight in aluminum. Because, uh, rations eat your cans. They don't give them back to you. A little fuel. What is that? Cloth? Wow. And some lead and iron. Okay. I think that's everything. Except I must have missed a building. I don't think I went in here. Nope. More copper and coal. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, off we go. Do I need this? I don't need this thing. Oh, <laughs> gluttony. <laughs> I'll just make sure as I'm passing by. Yep. Yep, got that one. Yep, got that one. <laughs> oh, out of energy again. A mew, that was a moo deer. Where is he? He's over there. Uh, I've been using crouching a lot to hunt. It works really well. I'm going to slide down this hill, I think. There we go. Alright, where is the extractor? Oh, is this the other site? This must be the other site. Which one is this one? Uh, uh, this might be aluminum. It is aluminum. Cool. There we go. All right. Back we go. This way. I think I left it by the wrong uh, exit there. I didn't feel like very much time was passing between yesterday and today. I only slept once, uh, and it was the only night time. I think I went to bed at like um, two o'clock in the morning. 2.30 in the morning, 
and uh, woke right up at 6.30 as soon as my energy was uh, back. Yep, slide right on down that mountain. I don't have any uh, sticks or um, fiber. That is a pretty darn good haul. Uh, I'm especially happy about seven electrical parts. There's a piggy in my right ear. <laughs> it has been far, far longer than 10 game days uh, since I was in that town. It's been more than a year. Yes, I saw that corn. I am trying to ignore it. Oh no, there's a melon. Close your eyes. Ignore the melon. All right, the um, the wood shop is going to line up uh, with the greenhouse, and it's going to be over here. So we're going to lose some more trees, but not to worry because if I uh, turn on the foliage, uh, I think you'll see that there's plenty of stuff still on the ground here. So we're gonna lose uh, maybe four trees right here. Cause I'm gonna move it. It's probably gonna start about right here, I'm thinking. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to cut down a tree just to measure it. Oh, come on, come on, you can do it. Did I pick up the wrong part? Yes, I did. There we go. No, I don't have to. That's good. What was that the front? Yeah, that was the front. All right, so I think if I start, yeah, I'm gonna lose these two trees as well. So I'm gonna start right here. I'll take these out. I have a lot of logging to do. This is a big building. I'm gonna start right here. I might even make it bigger than four by three because three doesn't seem very large to me. Maybe four. Yeah, I think it'll be three, uh, four by four. I think that will be big enough. I'm going to have a lot of uh, logs and planks and uh, the saw benches and the circular saw all stored in there. And it will be open on the front. So Deft Spiders is upstairs. He lifted these platforms up a little. And he's got a, a floating roof. It's, it sits on these poles, um, like these poles. And um, they get much taller when they're actually being built. And so, and he's got a finished looking floating roof upstairs slightly. And I like that too. Uh, Dirk Gills' uh, wood um, shed is an open end. Um, with a roof so it's covered so I like both those ideas so I might do a combination of those two ideas uh, let's get rid of all this stuff as soon as I find the door oh don't look at the cucumber <laughs> and of course it's 9:30 at night so iron ore uh, lead ore, that is copper, there we go, 
and aluminum and some stuff or are these things these are mostly things <laughs> so I have 13 electrical parts now that's plenty to do the lights with um, Kevlar Kevlar is in the back building so we're going that way anyway uh, food production here's a can and feathers oh, I don't have any feathers in there all right and a couple of nails and the rest of that's good so I'm not going to try to build all this stuff at night we'll just have to come back tomorrow uh, to extend the power so I decided to make this a complete roof here just a flat roof and uh, we'll extend the five um, five more wind turbines. Now I've saved and closed my game, so I can't stand on that. So we'll have five more turbines on this one right here. And if I decide to do any more, then I'll just do five more over there. It does kind of like take away from the look of the new building but it's a utility building, so it's kind of like a lean-to for the utility building. So not a huge deal. Wow. Uh, I did not get very much iron out of that. Let's see about this one. We're almost out of fuel. Uh, There we go. Uh, that's too much weight. Uh, look at this mess I made. <laughs> Split that one in half. I could go set down that Kevlar. It's got to be heavy. Uh, here we go. Here's a couple of pieces of iron. Uh, Lee suggested that I put a couple of boxes out here uh, for um, these. And then uh, when it's time to bring in stone, I'll just bring a cart over and load the boxes on the cart. I think that's a great idea. Let's put the Kevlar and cloth away. And anything else in here? Not really. I suppose I could put some of those in there. Yeah. And so I got the fish loaded up. There we go. And now as we go back, we'll be able to see uh, the lights up in the, the glass living room area. They almost look like they're hanging from the ceiling. That's pretty cool. Oops. I gotta do something about that fence. <laughs> all right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're enjoying the content, then please click the like button. And as always, <laughs> this new mouse is really hard. As always, have a great day.